Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Miliana and happy Vlogmas Day 5. Okay, I, yeah, this wrapping paper is going to be super glittery and here comes Cooper. So I have this wrapping paper I got from TJ Maxx. It has cute little Christmas trees um, and it's glitter. Three. I literally, it's already all over the place. Oh my gosh. Y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, already. So today we'll be wrapping my Christmas presents I'll be gifting to my boyfriend. Let's get wrapping. So for Christmas, I got my boyfriend a pair of soccer cleats. These ones are just plain black um, Phantom cleats. So like this. He wanted like new leather ones and I hope this is what the one who was talking about. Oh great. Oh okay. So it's like really are you kidding me? There's only four pieces of wrapping paper. That is ridiculous. Okay. Well Note to you guys, if you guys are going to get the TJ Maxx, if you go to TJ Maxx and you get the wrapping paper I'm getting, please be aware that the wrapping paper comes in like five little sheets and it's super sparkly, so not recommending. No, no. Let's just see how it even, ugh, I don't know. I literally wanted to make all these my presents super cute, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't even know anymore. Like, look, it doesn't even... I'm so upset. Maybe if I flip it the other way around. This is so annoying. No. This wrapping paper is not it. It's just, do you expect this to reach to that side? Oh wait, it does. What? Okay, I don't know what in the world <laughs> I was doing, but now it's reaching. Okay. Here is a trick. You want the bottom to be what you're going to take your rib, make sure it's long enough. Course, and then you're going to tie a knot like this and then you're going to flip it around and then once it's your right length you're going to take your scissors and give her a nice slice Then you make your bow. Okay. Look how cute that is. And I also got him really cute shirts from True Religion. The first one is a almost like a bluish greenish color. Um, it's a short sleeve. And then this one is long sleeve. It's white and purple and it has like a cool little sleeve on. It has like a design on the sleeve. And I'm gonna put it in this gift box. This gift box is also from TJ Maxx. Well, my mom took the tissue paper, so I can use this tissue paper, but it just doesn't match with the box. I can only have white. I mean, I can use, I'll just use red, I guess. I'm gonna keep it in the box like this and then I uh, will put the white tissue paper. I'm pretty sure we have one. That's number one. I could have honestly put a couple of shirts in the box, but I like opening more boxes. You know what I mean? 
I don't know if you're all the same, if you guys agree with me as well, but something about like opening, like, oh my gosh, there's three boxes? Makes you feel more excited. All right. This is his gifts. I'm gonna leave them just like this. Boom, got that one. Next is his mom. Got her a full glam greetings benefit set. It comes with the Pro Professional um, Bad Gal Bang Mascara Hula Bronzer and 24 hour brow setter. the box already but I ended up using green tissue paper for my boyfriend's two shirts and I put them both in one box. The last gift I have to wrap is for his dad and it's a Michael Kors sweater. That looks like it's green, it's quarter zip and it's not like a thick sweater um, so I think he will like it. <laughs> um, there's a gift receipt in there just in case he doesn't. Um, no hurt feelings. <laughs> Finish wrapping their presents. Here's how they look. I really like the the bows on these ones. We're gonna decorate the tree. It's white outside and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their heart Okay, it is much later now I ended up showering. Oh my gosh, my hair is already curly again. Um, I ended up showering because I had glitter all over me, all over my neck, everywhere. It is currently 9.14. We semi-finished the Christmas tree. Um, we have an order from Michaels coming in tomorrow with ribbons and more ornaments. And then we'll be all set with the Christmas tree and everything else um, is pretty much good to go. So the presents are all wrapped and everything. Um, I'm just going to be making cookies for his family. It's almost like a tradition now. I make Christmas cookies for their family. But it's not Christmas cookies because they all requested um, chocolate chip cookies.
guys would not believe what happened as y'all can tell something burnt um when i was having i had the cookies in the oven and the timer went off so i came over and literally the oven was just smoking and i ran over opened it up and i was just so confused because like the top of my cookies yeah they look a little you know a little golden brown but i was like what's going on flip the cookie over she's black every single cookie is burnt black on the bottom i'm like oh my gosh are you being serious so don't get these pans and this is why we use this handy dandy little cookie stone so thankfully i have half the cookie dough right here left so i can put on here Oh, it's just so frustrating because all those cookies are now, you know, gonna have to go to waste because they're burnt. Now I gotta get these in the oven and also the shortbread. Ah! Okay, so this vlog is gonna be combined into three different days. Um, so it's going to be a little bit longer and it's because I did not end up finishing um, the first and second one. I'm going to sprinkle some flour. This is the shortbread one. Um, I will be making the chocolate chip cookies um, a little bit later today. Santa's, oh. Santa's hat. And then we'll do this one here. And I don't let me see if I can glue that together. Yep. There we go. And then a gingerbread man. And then I have my pizza stone right here. Okay. Oh no. Hold on a minute. So the shortbread cookies didn't end up holding its shape when I was trying to cut them. And I think it has to do with the fact that there's no egg in the dough. So I just formed it into a little um, rectangle and then I ended up just slicing them and baking them like that. So now I'm going to make a new batch of chocolate chip cookies because the first ones that I made obviously you saw they got burnt. And then the, the other half of the dough, it was not going to be enough for his whole entire family. So thankfully we went to Stop and Shop and we picked up chocolate chips. So... I could make a new batch to make the cookies a little bit more festive for christmas i grabbed some dough and i put it into a plastic container and i added red and green sprinkles to this batch first just to make sure i was okay with how it turned out and i ended up liking it it was really cute so i added the sprinkles to the whole entire dough so the first batch i ended up just making it plain uh, pop those ones in the oven and those ones ended up just being for me and my family the red and green sprinkled cookies are from my boyfriend's family Unfortunately, I was not able to show how they turned out because I was in a rush to head to the post office before they closed But I must say they were really cute I put them in a cute little Christmas box and grabbed all the presents and headed to the post office To end off the night, my mom was adding ribbon to the Christmas tree We have been working on it almost every single night and it is finally done So I can't wait to show you guys how it looks Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you guys tomorrow